Welcome in, everybody. Tuesday morning. Happy Tuesday morning. I want to wish uh, one of my good friends, Mr. John Flynn, a happy birthday this morning. Flying Flynn Media, one of great supporters of a lot of channels. Jackie. What's up, Jackie? Lance, welcome in. DeMarco Moore, Brian, Steve, Sergeant Jones, George Kelly. Who else is in here? Uh, cleaning, holiday apartments, and turning... Oh, tune in. Okay, Jackie. Yeah. Lance, welcome in. So how's everybody doing? Just uh, was kind of bored this morning. Had to bring Lainey to school. We had a had some major th storms last night. About two o'clock this morning, man, it was really coming down. But uh, looks like it's going to be clearing up a little later. It's supposed to be 77 degrees. But uh, hey, just want to uh, remind everybody about the show tomorrow night. Life of Fun show. We will be talking about the South Florida drone meetup. Kind of the final uh, tune up there to what's happening and with Captain Ray. We'll go over the itinerary. Uh, Bill Ronane will go over what's happening at Sticks Billiard Hall. Maddie will catch us up on what we're going to maybe do with FPV, um, if he's going to do something special with that. Brad Austin will catch us up on all the stuff that he printed, uh, name tags, uh, coasters, and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. Brian, Waypoint, New England, what's up? Warren, welcome in. But yeah, so busy week, you know, Easter week, Holy week, uh, make your plans. Of course, I know everybody's, uh, I'll be leaving out of here myself next Wednesday morning, headed over to, uh, Scotty Jackrabbit FPV. Yeah. Uh, Steve, I hadn't seen, uh, well, I hadn't pulled up what, what, what did they have last night in Baltimore? Did I miss something? I hadn't used that. First thing I do is get up and check Yahoo and the news. Uh, there's a link. If anybody wants to hop in, you are welcome to. I'm not going to stay on real long. Maybe about 45 minutes. Oh, a bridge collapse. Okay, yeah, I have to pull that up. I think... Uh, Maybe doing a night, I did see something. I know I got woken up a couple of times last night with the weather. Steve, I want to thank you for your donation to the South Florida Drone Meetup. Steve's got a uh, original DJI Mini. So, hey, a great little drone to have, a uh, great starter drone or, you know, even a drone. It's a great drone. Uh, one good thing about that drone, you don't have to worry about the batteries going down. You can throw it in your car, truck. And uh, it's, the battery's always charged. So, hey, that's that's pretty cool. Great, great drone. Mr. DeMarco Moore, what's up? Yeah, that's a great, great prize. You know, we got, we got some, uh, some great prizes. Lots of T-shirts, uh, lots of, I know, cups. Uh, I saw Al Searcheron donated, uh, I think, uh, four cups and four T-shirts. Uh I know John Flynn's got some t-shirts to give away. I think Scotty may have a couple t-shirts. Um, there'll be a lot of, a lot of stuff. Those guys coming from, uh, I know Steve and Terry coming from, uh, you know, from the drone seekers, they, they're going to have some, uh, have to make some room in their luggage. I can tell you that. Lance, what's up? Lance is always up early. DeMarco, DeMarco gets up. He's fooling with the kids, I'm sure. But, uh, hey, last night, if you saw Drone Nation, some interesting talk last night about that uh, Spectre drone. Uh, Dobo popped in, and, uh, you know, he, 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 wasn't aware of, uh, he wasn't aware of that drone. Uh, Jack from Half Chrome got that drone kind of just uh, out the blue, and uh, it looks pretty interesting. You know, is it a DJI uh clone is it dji those their selves is it just a knockoff demarco just dropped them off there you go demarco peace and quiet <laughs> he's going down a road smiling now no kids i'm not sure if uh shelly is gone demarco might uh, go back uh, go back to bed demarco no but uh yeah talking about that specter drone last night uh if you haven't seen or heard the news about that, it is a basically an Air 3. Uh, looks just like an Air 3, flies just like an Air 3, has an RC 
two type controller and RC. I'm not sure if it's RC two or if it's uh, but it's a it's a RC type controller. Same interface, same app, pretty much. So <laughs> no, don't drop your kids. Uh, well, you dropped the kids off at the pool, uh, Barkley. You know, after you dropped the kids off, Barkley might not know. You know, being from Nashville, he might not know what that is. Barkley, what's up? Oh yeah, uh, Lance, I, I saw that pop up, Jackie. Let's see, let's see here. Well, where's his backpack? My friends, with Jackie has a channel. No, Jackie's got a great channel. Jackie loves that. Uh, she loves that Avada. I can tell you that. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, she does some interesting stuff. Let's see here. Present. Oop. Share screen. Yeah, let's see what let's see what Jackie put up here. Uh, I don't know. I've forgotten the name. I don't know where we are. Let's have a little fly on here. Let's go see who we've got. I'm going to get Jackie to throw that thing in acro. Yeah. I knew it's thrown to me. Hi, everybody. <laughs> it's at the other end of the space. <laughs> My job. My job. <laughs> <laughs> In the middle. Yeah, better GPS. Great US of A. With Mark W. And uh, yeah, let's quit messing around uh, and quit all this jibber jabber. Let's get this bird in the air. Yeah, there you go. On the map. I can that motion. Yeah, check, check backpack Jackie's video out there. Very nice. Akarasho, what's up? Jackie is, uh, yeah, we got to get Jackie over to, to, to uh, here in South Florida. So, John Flynn, what, what's up for your birthday? You getting a new, uh, let's see, what, what can you get for your birthday? You can get a $7.99 uh, Mavic 3 Pro, maybe, at Amazon. John's going to slap me. <laughs> and of course, uh, let's see. Uh, tune in tonight to build a drone with viewer about his. Uh, did he get his money or did he not get his money for uh, from Amazon? Uh, I think they actually have a. Uh, he might have a happy ending to that story. Barkley, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> I'd love to future. Yeah, there you go, Jackie. Uh, thanks for showing it. Uh, Karasha, what you talking about? Ouch. Uh, did I miss something? Uh, <laughs> I'm treating myself to an all change for my car. Oh, there you go. Hey, there you go. Mr. Dre. <laughs> How are you doing, John? What time is it? Did you get kicked out of the house or something? 
No, I'm in Virginia. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I, I, I thought about that this morning. I said, I'll be able to get on Johnny's show since uh, I'm on the same time zone. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't doing too much this morning, and uh, it was kind of storming, and I took the took Laney to school this morning and uh, on the golf cart. We were at the golf cart every morning, but it uh, looks like oh, okay. It's like it's going to be clearing up. So what you doing in Virginia? Uh, this spring break, uh, come out here to uh, visit some museums. Uh, we're going to go up to D.C. Uh, tomorrow and visit some museums up there. Uh, we're, we're here, I'm here in Williamsburg, Virginia, and uh, seeing some things in the local area. So I said, my wife's a teacher, so this is her spring break time. So each year, spring break, we try to do a little trip. We are originally planning to go to Hawaii, but since they had the fires last year, uh, that kind of cut that trip short because there's not much to do because the resort we stay at is on the same island where they had the fire. Oh, wow. So, so yeah, we switched niece, it up and decided to come east. My little niece comes in from uh, Virginia. She comes in Saturday. They live in Virginia. Well, they live in Chesapeake right there. So Right. Okay. okay. They'll be coming here. And actually, they'll mm -hmm. leave Thursday morning going back, and I'll leave Wednesday morning going to South Florida. So I actually leave before them. But, yeah, we we – you know, she told me, informed me, you know, we've kind of been boy boycotting the crawfish because they're $7 a pound live. So, uh, but she okay. informed me they want crawfish. So I called yesterday and the guy said, hey, they're going to be six bucks a pound live, which is a very new uh, territory, you know. <laughs> but <laughs> it's no sense talking yeah. about it. You know, we're all going to pitch in and get some crawfish. But yeah, that'd be for Easter. But yeah. Good deal. Good deal. Well, Joe, well, I said, uh, yeah. Dre, what do you think about that Spectre drone? Have you had a chance to see, hear any, see any of that? Well, it's, I, like I say, it's it's a very genuine knockoff of the DJI drone. And uh, there's another one out there called uh, the Raptor for the Enterprise version, was just like the M3T. Yeah, uh, I saw the, Yeah, I saw that. So it's kind of confusing. I don't know. Just something to be identical as it is to the current uh, line of DJI drones. Uh, and I think I heard that Spectra is out of a company out of Hong Kong. I don't know what DJI, if it is them behind it. I think it is them or some subsidiary company uh, who's working with them. Malaysia, you know, it's put together in Malaysia is what it says, yeah. Wow. Yeah, so I'm just thinking that. In spite of, if it's out of Hong Kong, guess what? It's still out of China because Hong Kong belongs to China now. So it doesn't really change anything as far as what we're looking at latest, you know, legislation-wise. Yeah. So I, I, that's I, what I'm thinking of. Yeah, I, I don't think that they would, they absolutely know that they just because they do that or put it together somewhere else that it's not going to. But but you know what's interesting? Uh, you can go on Amazon and you can get a, you can get a Matrice 30 drone that looks just like it you can get a air three but mm -hmm. this when when jack was flipping through the interface you know man the, the the interface of the rc type controller was exactly the same you know yeah. that's what yeah the controller everything the same except when it boots up it says spectra to the same yeah. dgi yeah. you know and I, i've seen that there was half chrome put it up uh on his show and uh, showed it, you know, going through the process of booting up and everything. He said he showed the booklet. The booklet is identical to the GGI manual, except for the name Spectra on the cover. So he's uh, actually many. He's actually got a mini drone, but there's no app to fly it. Hmm. So he, that's, you know, they say they there is coming with an app. So, but that will be a, you know, of course, a drone you fly on your phone and. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of strange, and it's it's like a I, I think it's the size basically of a mini two, which uh, it's kind of you wouldn't you would think if they did something they would do something newer, but maybe that's geared toward new purchasers or whatever you know. So it's maybe it's going to be cheap, you know, because the other drone, the Spectre Air Three clone, is really I mean it's twelve hundred bucks. It's not you know it's not nothing for a few hundred bucks, you know. Right, right. So I I don't know I I I think. For us here in America, uh, it'd be best for us to try to contact our, our representatives and so forth and put the brakes on these type of uh, legislation. I, I just heard DeSantis just signed some stuff uh, again on something else that goes into effect next year and uh, in, in Florida. And I say Arizona has kind of put their stuff on hold. Utah has a bill coming through. 
that look like it has some legs to it. So that's why I tell people you got to pay attention, not just at the federal level, but also your state and local levels. You got to be aware because I think this is what people I think are find out more about how our government functions, that states do have a certain amount of power to enact things that the federal government has to walk a lot slower. Right. So right. Yeah. I mean, a, a, a governor has a lot of power. And he can sign a lot of things in the law, and the only, only person that can stop him is the courts. Yeah, Dobo talked about that. I mean, the wheels of, of that stuff turn slow. I know in Arkansas, I think they proposed the bill last year that goes in effect in 2006. Right. Just kind of, you know, yeah. if something is bad, well, okay, it's okay. It's going to be bad for the next two years, but, you know, after that, we're going to ban it. So mm-hmm. it kind of. Yeah, so I, it's, it's, like I said, you know, today I'm supposed to get online with a, uh, Congressman out of Nevada, uh, Bob Dempsey set this up. Uh, I'd be myself, Bob Dempsey, and a few other people are going to have a uh, online meeting with this uh, congressional uh, representative and talk with him. I've been trying to get a hold of mine, uh, which is uh, Pete Aguilar out of California. He's number two for the Democratic Party, and he represents my area where I live at. So that's this the only way we're going to be able to really uh, talk to these people. And like I tell everybody else, this is where we have to become educated ourselves. So when we get an opportunity to speak to these individuals who are the ones who cast these votes on these different measures that come before them, they can be a little more informed. I know where I live at, the company Ezra, which is a mapping company, is mm-hmm. you know right close by. And I said, this is also things you have to look at how – it's going to affect not just end users like us, but how it's going to affect companies that use drones on a daily basis. This is what their whole company is built on. So, and like I say, like it or not, these companies are more built on the the environmental system of DJI and other drones that are out there already that are Chinese made. A lot of the software is compatible with what these drones operate on and going from the, going from that standpoint. So now you're not just talking about us end users having to buy something different. Now you're talking about corporations having to revamp their software and possibly their fleets, if they have their own drones, to be compatible with the law states. And Dre, you know, could so it be that, you know, could it be if, I mean, our voice is almost too small, you know, if they were trying to ban motorcycles, for instance, well, they'd be a big voice, you know, and mm-hmm. drones, this very small part of, of the people have drones, you know, so. Well, so this, this, I, I wasn't, I wasn't overly concerned. I mean, it, I was always concerned to a point, but not overly concerned until I saw how quickly the TikTok vote went. Right. That went like that and and because of the the uh i would say the national or uh sense of chinese brand period but people fail to understand you can pick up 10 items in your house and look and flip it over and you'll see made in china made in china made in china from from microwaves refrigerators toasters you know all these different things our phones all these days made in China because this is what we have done to ourselves over the last 50, 60 years. Yeah, as, as Lon I mean, said, Lon like, said, like, like I say, routers, every router in your house is made. I mean, right. so they get yeah, that's, just, that's just my whole point. That's just my whole point. I mean, you and I are old enough where it used to be a joke when you you you, you had something that was made in China or made in Japan. Now it is the standard. You know, you know, I mean, I'd say when you and I grew up, we had we had TV companies like RCA and Quasar, which were the standards when we grew up. Now you can't buy American made TV. Yeah. There is none that exists anymore. So this is what I'm saying that when you have to when we allowed our our systems or our infrastructure, household infrastructure, everything as we do, even even you know, commercial infrastructure. A lot of the nuts and bolts of things that we do, we work with, are made overseas. Yeah. You know, Caterpillar is about the only thing that we have that's dominant in the construction business that is made and built in America. Okay. Like I said, but you got other brands. You got Volvo. You got uh, other brands that are made in China, made made other places around the world. 
that are on American construction sites oh, all absolutely. the time. Yeah. You know, so that's why I tell folks, I said, this is something that we have done to ourselves. So now the alarm bells are ringing. Everybody's up in arms. And I said, well, this is what we have done to ourselves. And now we now the pendulum is swinging the other way, uh, you know, very hard. Now we want to ban, uh, ban stuff. Drone, drones are low hanging fruit because there's not a lot of us. Mm-hmm. But because of what we do and how it, how it has filtrated throughout the industry, it, it can have a bigger impact than people think. Everybody's just talking about recreational flying and maybe commercial flying. I said, no, it has bigger impact than that when it, it, when it, it can affect corporations. And that's what I'm talking about, that when I talk to this uh, congressperson today, I'm going to come from the corporation side and say, now you're talking about changing the footprint and overhauling of equipment of a corporation. So how does that affect, you know, the trickle down effect of that? Because we're talking about where we got multiple companies now shutting down stores for labor reasons, labor costs, all these different things. And now you're going to force corporations to retool. And how is that going to affect the work, workforce? Right. Well, you know what, what Pete and Lon brought, well, or actually DeMarco was talking about, you know, it's, it's not so much the drone, it's the camera. You know what I mean? It, yeah. It's a yeah. You know, if they took all the cameras off the drones, could we still fly drones? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, that, that, that is true. Like, you, that's a good point. I go out and buy a drone that doesn't have a camera. Then you can't complain about what, what data is collecting because it's not collecting right. any data. Yeah. So would that be, you know, I, I mean, I don't know. Is it going to come out? I, I know I asked last night on Drone Nation, will it become like a pay-per-view type? Hey, will they, you, you buy a drone, you, you, you sign up to the U.S. And, and pay some kind of fee to fly it, you know, and mm-hmm. they wait. You know, I don't know. It's it's just you don't know what direction. I know Captain Joe uh, America talked to uh, Joe America talked to Steve Scalise and you mm-hmm. know, Steve was pretty high up. In the, and, and he absolutely said the, the bill has no chance. Of, but that's just his right. opinion, you know, and, and right. he did. But but, you know, it's it's, it's something mm-hmm. that. Okay, we might get by this time, but you know, and I know you fly a lot, you do a lot of jobs, and, and the biggest thing about right. drones, you don't want to be hassled or, or think you're doing something dirty every time you put your drone up, you know? Yeah. And, and I can say this time it may not have like I say, you know, Steve Scalise, number two on the on the on Republican side, as far as uh people up up there in the power structure. And like I say. I was not overly concerned either, but now, like I say, with this TikTok uh, thing that came through, like I said, there's not a lot of information that we are receiving as a public. And just like on this TikTok thing, same thing. There's a lot of information that we have not gotten as a public to find out how dangerous is TikTok. That Absolutely. it is sweeping, it swept through the House of Representatives that quick. I mean, within a week, they got this done pretty much. After everybody got the FBI and CIA briefing, it's like, okay, let's vote on this and bam. So now it rests in the Senate and see what they're going to do and go from there. But uh, People are hollering. If you got something, show us. Well, listen, them showing Johnny Alfonso anything doesn't really matter to the U.S. government. So they're not going to, you know, and it's right. That's yeah. I mean, just throw that thought out the window. They, they, you know, they're not, they're not going to tell you what they have. I mean, let's, let's not. You know, hey. yeah, like, like, like I say, you know, I used to have a security clearance when I was in the military, and I can say, I, you know, that and I say I wasn't given a lot of information then. Absolutely. <laughs> so, you know, I say being a civilian now, they don't they don't owe me a whole lot of explanation <laughs> explanations wow. about anything. So, uh, just, yeah, I, that's what I tell people. Yeah. So, so but other than that, Grace, can, how, long, how long are you gonna be out on the East Coast there? I'm gonna be out here for a week. Uh, we flew in uh, the red eye uh, Sunday night, Monday morning, and uh, I say yes. It was kind of like just trying to get our legs under us because yeah, we lose yeah. time coming east. So we were kind of you know just zonked out and you know kind of laid around a little bit. And so today we're going to uh, do a little run around. I got to drive up to see uh, a family member up in Ashburn, Virginia, which is just outside, I guess, to the west of DC. And then we're going to go into D.C. itself on Wednesday. But the weather, we might get a little wet. But I understand watching the weather. But so far, it's been beautiful. That's why I was teasing Mark Fisher on uh, on the Rhode Island uh, Facebook page about how nice the weather is. Because he, he's complaining about the, the cold weather, this and that. Oh, so I've been giving Mark a hard time 
he complains about when it gets like forty. Oh, no, he's complaining because it's twenty degrees. You know, he's such a he's such yeah, a wolf. yeah. <laughs> Mark's coming down. So can, we'll, we'll set them straight next next Wednesday or Thursday. We'll be together, so we'll 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 set them straight. Don't worry. Oh, good, good, good. So I, I, I got to give him a hard time. So I had to fly all the way out here from California just to give you guys some good weather. <laughs> yeah, I think y'all will probably get what came through kind of through us and Arkansas and all that last night pushing that way. So yeah, that's, as they say, the sun that's coming coming from uh, the a uh, little bit around that Missouri Arkansas area yeah. that it hit here. Uh, I guess uh, tomorrow afternoon, maybe morning afternoon time frame. Uncle and then Bill, I guess it'll clear up Thursday. Up he, he's up and yeah. about. Yeah, Uncle Bill and I said Don just woke up from Missouri and stuff. Yeah. My 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 movie Don. critic Don Mudball. Mudball. <laughs> and stuff. Yeah. But I had to jump in. I had I've been looking for you all morning, Johnny. So I got up this morning. I said, oh, Johnny's a, but see, I usually see you when it's 5 a.m. or so yeah, West yeah, Coast yeah. time. I'm, and I, if I do get on, I'm going to the gym. So I said, I woke up this morning, 6 a.m. Oh, I'm, I'm going to catch a Johnny. I'm going to catch a Johnny and surprise him. <laughs> well, you know, I, I know I'm like, I mean, Sunday morning is the regular show, but sometimes I'm, I'm right. kind of here and I'll, I'll end it in a little bit because Paul Murray goes on, at, you know, in about uh, usually about 20 minutes. So, What's up, Dre? Captain Joe, you awake? Good morning. Yeah, Joe. Barely awake. Barely awake. You yeah. heard the rain last night. That rain woke you up? Oh, that rain woke me up in the middle of the night. Woke yeah, the dogs up. They were trying to climb in the bed with good. Yeah. 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 I had a basketball banquet last night, and it took about three hours. I got oh. back here. I had to work on film. I got to come your way at 2.30. I got to track me to St. Paul. I got to go to, so I'll be headed your way in a little bit. Okay. Uh, I won't hold that against you going to St. Paul. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dre, Dre, this guy won't yeah. throw his uh, Avada and manual. What do you think about that? I mean, he, do it. he won't you do know, it. I, I have no I, – I, Johnny, I can't give him no opinion because I don't have a Avada, <laughs> but he keeps telling me that he'd like to try some stuff, but you won't let him use yours. Well, well he can use yeah. my <laughs> bank up pretty good. Look, his is still neat and pretty, and it, it's really never – I mean, it had a few little cracks, <laughs> but it's all – hasn't got no stuff. Every time, every time I bump into something and it flips around, I figure I'm doing acro. It's good. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> now, Johnny, I, I saw one. Uh, was it you that put up the one about the lighthouse the other day? Did you flew out to a lighthouse? Yeah, we flew. Uh, uh, I, uh, yeah, I took the Avada out one day. Yeah. Okay, because I was I was telling Joe he he did one with his, and I was telling him how impressed I was with the the quality of the picture. I and mean, he was telling me that he put the. The, the settings at a negative seven, and uh, he had a filter on it and stuff. And I, I said that footage came out very crisp yeah, Joe, and clear, uh, very sharp. Joe's a photographer, so he can he can spice things up a little bit there and, and post. You know? Right, right, right. So that's that that kind of you know is is nudging me that way. If I can get that level of quality out of the camera system, well, they say uh, that the new Avada or the Avada Two is actually going to be really good because it's supposed to be the the pocket. It's a pocket four, I guess, camera. So yeah, it's supposed to be a better camera. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's that's, that's I'm gonna. Using my, I'm using my Osmo Pocket Three right now. That's what yeah. I'm streaming with right now. I have it hooked to a laptop, and mm -hmm. I'm uh, you know, on here with you guys now. So I'm I'm, I'm really impressed with this thing. I yeah, need I to use it more often. The about a two, and it's the props are up, so it's not a pusher. So it's gonna fly a little better. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a little quieter. And with that better camera, uh, it's got, it looks like it's got a, I'm not sure if the battery is any, will give you any more flight time. It's longer and leaner, but it slips in, you know, from the back. So I think it'll definitely hold up better. You know what, what I mean, the, the bottom battery and you don't have to hit anything. I mean, you can hit something, of course, and it'll pop out, but I think this would be a lot. I think this will snap in a lot better than, than that setup because it Joe may like like stand in to a fence and knock my battery off. So. <laughs> I made you do it. <laughs> he, I'm up there standing next to him, and he's flying. I'm saying, "You're a little low, Johnny. You a little, little bit low. You got, watch the fence, Johnny, like that." And he says, "Oh, I got it! Bam!" He hits the fence. Yeah. <laughs> well, 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 he, said he got it. He got it. It flew about another hundred feet before the battery came out. Yeah, it, it, it took off oh, up in the air about a hundred feet. Oh no, it's fun. <laughs> we, we had fun. Uh, the Vada yeah. 2, let's see John Flynn, what he said, uh, has a Vada 2 and a flying man, you know. No, 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 no. 
I'll tell you what, the Vada 2, I mean, you know, I, I, we was asking Lon last night because, of course, he knows somebody that has it. And, yeah, and, look, those drones, even that drone is probably a small, you know, step up. I don't know. You got to you gotta buy what's best for you because there's so many, Dre, you know what, you, you know, you fly yeah. most because you, you do some work. But, you know, right. I never bought the Mavic 3 only because I just don't think for what I do, just putting a little stuff up on YouTube and stuff, I need it. Now, Joe has it. And, uh, you know, it, it is a great mm -hmm. drone, probably the best drone out there for that, you know, that money price, you know, but. I got a, I got 108 flights on that Mavic 3. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, like I said, it, you know, each drone, like I tell people, each drone you have should have a purpose or yeah. why you have it, why you use it. No. And that's why I'm not uh, on one of those folks who feels a great need to be on the bandwagon for every new release. I say, if it's, it's something that, that will assist me in what I do, okay, it has value. But if it's something that I will hardly ever fly, uh, then it doesn't have the value for me to spend. I don't care if it's 200 bucks, let alone be 1200 bucks. Right. You know, that's money. That's money I take out of my pocket. I take out of my business mm -hmm. to uh, make a purchase. So I, I need, I need it from, from a business standpoint. And Joe knows what I'm talking about. You need to have a return on your investment. You know, he goes out and buy a certain lens. He needs to say, okay, this lens will help me do this, this, and this. So now he, he goes out and he gets paid for it, taking them team pictures and other events he goes to yep. and stuff. He's getting a return on that investment. That's 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 the way you got to look at it with, 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 from a business perspective. I tell folks it doesn't matter if I'm flying drones or I sell tilly wings. You got to look at from a business perspective. Great. I asked you the same question I asked Dobo. If you had to go out and shoot a job, Tomorrow morning, and you could not mm -hmm. fly a DJI drone. What would you shoot it with? Oh, uh, like I say, depending on, depending on the job, depending on the job, or what I would, would want to take with me. Uh, if do you have an all tail? Something cinematic. No, I don't have an all tail, but if it was something cinematic. I would like to, to get that evolved too. Most <laughs> nobody hardly has one because they did a very poor release on the thing. But it has the ability to have interchangeable lenses on the Evolve 2. And I thought it was going to be a replacement. You know, for when it came out, the Evolve 2 came out right after they ended the Phantom 4 Pro series. When it when it when DJI put that retirement, that Evolve 2 came out, and I thought that would be a good in-between drones. It's supposed to cost right about five grand. And between that cost factor and spending money. Up on at the next level would have been Inspire, which we all knew was about you know ten grand at the time. The uh, Inspire right. two, I said that would have been a happy medium, but the Evolve people kept stumbling every step of the way. It, it's a it's a good drone for what it is. It's a great price factor for what it is, and if I had to go out and do a cinematic type shoot with a drone other than a DJI, I would say Evolve two would be my pick. I want yeah, to go out there with because that I'm way I can change the camera there. lenses and everything else. I'm sharing the screen on that perspective for those. You you can see that it's 1200. Yeah. Now Dobo Dobo right. said he ordered one just to see how it's going to work. So, I, like I say, if it has everything that everybody is as as stated as far as a full blown DJI knockoff, it it should be great. You know, Only and, if it is, it, yeah, it's where. Uh, you know, where would you get service on that drone? You know, that's that's well, kind of yeah, that's why I, I, I always say, John, that's where the the the, deta the devil in the details is. Is this thing a truly a DJI knockoff? In other words, like I said, I was teasing, I think it was Lawrence and Herman when they did this show. I said, This is going to be the luxury brand for DJI, just like you got buy a Toyota, you can get a Lexus, right? <laughs> Lexus. <laughs> you know, it got it basically it's got the same motor sitting in it. But you might have an extra piece of leather somewhere in the car that <laughs> makes it a Lexus. Bob Casey, <laughs> yeah, well, but you know, you know, the thing about that is, um, you know, I think Jack tested the uh, Geo Zone yesterday, and he said it was actually locked. But I, I don't think he was able to unlock it. You know, like I, I mean, I'm not mm -hmm. sure if he went through the process. I mean, it's well, on there. You may not be know not know the process to get it unlocked. Yeah, well, with that Spectre, that's what I'm saying. So it's kind of it's yeah, kind of weird. Saying. Yeah, that's just my point. That it, unless there's something telling you, because like I tell people, that's what the one thing people get confused about uh, 
Lance or Lank, how you want to pronounce it, that you can get an approval to fly in the controlled area for through Lance, but you got to transfer that authorization from there to DGI to get the unlock. Because yep. you can get Lance approval and you don't get the unlock from DGI, your drone won't fire up. Right. You know, so that's why I tell people that you know you make a copy of your authorization, either it be DJ uh, from Drone Zone or from Link, and then you send that when you want we apply for an unlock to DJI's FlySafe uh, software, and you submit that, you upload that to them, and that's how you get the drone unlocked to fly well, fly in those areas. They were gonna take it apart, or they have two, and they were gonna <laughs> take it apart and, and check it out from the insides and see, you know, yeah. exactly. Maybe well, see that that's all that's all taking it apart is not really going to help because that's a software issue. Well, that's you know? what uh, somebody was saying. If they could get into the software and see some kind of you know, I don't know, uh, yeah, I mean, that's that you're talking about looking at software, looking at coding. Uh, that's not a hardware thing. Taking it apart, you're not going to find that in there. It's going to be in, it's going to be something embedded software wise in the chipsets. That recognizes geofencing. That recognizes all these different things that are on it. Maybe, maybe, like it's it, hey, maybe it's maybe it is a, a, a different version of a DJI. Maybe they're not gonna hide it, you know, and, and say, okay, yeah. you know, they don't, they're not stupid enough to think that they're, they're gonna just because listen, there might be some kids in a garage that's putting those together in Malaysia. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I mean, it it, it 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 might not be. Maybe we're putting way too much in it, and, and there's a ton of. You know, I mean, uh, EXO, same thing. You know, it's a Hubson drone. Just rebranded as an right. EXO. I mean, yeah. there's no... But, but the thing is here, you know, at least, it, at least we had an idea when those were rebranded, what it was, because oh, yeah. they said... But then that way you knew that it was if there was a software issue, you could contact uh, Hubsman yeah. and, 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 and get something done or undone or whatever. And that's why I say with this Spectra and thing, and then the other one is by... It makes it kind of funny that... If they use the Spectra name on this Mavic, was it Mavic 3 uh, Air, knockoff or Mavic 2 Air Air 3 knockoff, if this other one would have had the same Spectra name brand, because the other one's got some other name brand with an A in front of it, something like that, and uh, it's called the Raptor. So now you're yeah. looking at two different companies which basically are making two knockoffs of DJI gear. So that is going to add more confusion. Like you say, where do you get your customer support from? Because that's yeah, going to be the big thing. That's what people understand. Most of the stuff that we have issues with are software issues. When we have problems with our DJI drones, it's not mostly a hardware problem. It's always a software update, firmware right. update. That's all software stuff. Just like right now, they're talking about, I, just, I was just on Facebook talking about the M30T has a bad uh, software update that bricks it. So you got to be careful. The drone itself is not a problem. It's the bad software, software yeah. out there. So that's what I'm saying. Without knowing where to get your software support from, it, it's almost going to make it like you know a toy drone in a way because they don't come with no software support. Yeah, you know? yeah and so this it's, company knows. I mean, they can't, they can't sell up. I mean, I hate to say it. I mean, it's, they're not. I don't think anybody would be stupid enough to think if you paid 1200 bucks for a drone, they, they got to have some kind of service and some kind of support. Right. Uh, you know, I mean, right. And that, was, and that was the, and that was yeah. part of the issue with, 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 with exo drones and stuff there was no customer service yeah to speak of and that's why you know it fell flat on his face when they sold the company under this uh, that young kid and he was going on everybody's show talking about how great a drone it is but nobody said you can get any customer support yeah no I, yeah. yeah that's listen we're all excited when we buy a drone but listen you're gonna at some <laughs> point have some kind of little problem right you know I mean, I know even my Air 3, when I first got it, it was giving me a vision sense of error way up. I mean, like it was, well, it was, uh, mm -hmm. optical it was going all kind of like the Altel did. And uh, right. I, wrote, I wrote to them and they said, hey, send it back. They sent me a brand new drone. I, they never did. Uh, I don't know. They never did really say what was wrong with it. But hey, I don't, right. I don't care. I, you know, I got the drone. And ever since I got the new Air 3, I never had a problem. So uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Yeah, look, Bob Casey. Yeah. Says, uh, we we spectra. <laughs> yeah, so that's that's why a lot of people that you know it's it's not so much hardware issues. I mean, drones are pretty much built. Like I say, the platform of a drone is 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 there. Everybody knows how to build a drone itself. It's like a, like we buy cars. It's the quality of the parts that go into the car. I expect it will be good. Most of our issues that we have yeah. are, are mostly software related. 
you know, as far as geofencing, as far as uh, sensors, you know, vision sensors, whatever sensors you may have on. All, it's all, that's all software related. And, and that's and why We've been hollering for competition for years, so maybe yeah. this, maybe it's good. Yeah. Maybe it's a good thing. Yeah, yeah but, but like I always say, we, we holler for competition, but we want it to be at the same level of competition well, as what we have yeah. out there. Like I say, no one's no one would be upset to want to buy an American-made drone that had the same features, customer service, everything that DJI puts out. And well, one thing, same- one thing I always found interesting was was uh, what, what's the Skydio, okay, they kind of, mm-hmm. you know, had a big push on this and it was trying to get DJI banned and they knew this a right. few years ago, but, but their drone, if they, to me, if they really knew that they were going to get banned or something, they would have really produced something since then and they have not. So it's kind of, it's kind of strange in that aspect that, hey, you know, okay, we're sitting here as an American company, we built the, the Skydio 2 and really since they built that drone, they really haven't done anything to, to make that drone any better, you know? Right. Well, like I say, when I talked to the Scottio guy last summer when they did a uh, expo out here in California, Fullerton College, I mm-hmm. talked to the guy then. He told me they were walking. They told me then they were walking away from the consumer market and and basically focusing on the enterprise. Now, the, their issue was tr- when they were you know working hand in hand with some of the Florida uh, legislators about trying to you know well they got DJI drones out of the hands of first responders. Right. Well, they were going to want to slide slide in and take that spot because anybody in drones or or any kind of but no matter what you make it, if you can get a government contract, that's gold. Yeah. Oh, Guaranteed absolutely, gold. Yeah, you know? and that's what they're looking for. I mean, the consumer market is is what it is. You know, like I say, things are coming out so fast. We jump from one camera system to the next camera system, next drone to the next drone, and all that kind of stuff at a drop of a hat. Okay, but when you're in the when you're in the consumer, I mean the commercial area, you're in the enterprise area. That's long term service. That means when you get a government contract, it's yeah. not for for the next release in six months. That's usually six years, yeah, or more that you're looking at having this yeah. drone, be able to even continue developing that drone for the purpose of the federal government or whatever the case is. So like I said when you sit there and a uh, and a, and the uh, governor says, hey. All my police, firefighters, and anybody else in my state will no longer use these these type of drones. And you have to use these other ones. And that's why Florida banned them. And then they turn around and had to give all that money to these same agencies that already had drones to let them go out and buy other drones. Yeah. You know? Well, Trey, I know you always you always talk about there's even us as consumers and you know, and people in the drone community, you know, we don't you always say learn the drone you have. And look, there's people that has yeah, their two yeah. That's never even maybe done a, a quick shot type thing and use the features. So yeah, you know, learn mm-hmm. all those features of the drone that you have before you do step up maybe to the next drone. I mean, you may not even yeah, need I, the next, you know. Yeah, and I, that's why I said you know a lot of times we treat our drones like like people used to lease cars. You know, every 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 year, two years, you go turn your lease car in for another model, and you never well, like, you I mean, know, like, never like, pay for another. You don't need a new one of these every 12 months, really. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and that's and that's the way our our society is, is growing that way. I, I guess the, the last, I would say, two <coughs> generations have gotten that mindset that, you know, instead of buying. So, I mean, for, you know, when I grew up, and then you, Johnny, and even you, Joe, when we grew up, buying a car was the second most biggest expense besides buying your house. And oh, I yeah. said, you bought it. You bought it to keep it. You know, you bought yeah. that car, you like, okay, it's paid off. I, you know, I'll keep it for another 10 years before you think about buying another car, unless it got wrecked or something, you know, because <laughs> that's, that's the generation that we grew up under. You know, when our parents were around, you know, you, you bought that thing to the, you drove it to the wheels fell off and stuff, you know. Are you so right. I had, a, I had a 2003 Xterra when I paid off that. Mm-hmm. I still have it right now. It wouldn't have got flooded two years ago. Sure. <laughs> Yeah. All right, guys, let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and end this because I know Paul Murray is going to be going on. And, Dre, thanks for hopping on, and I appreciate it. it. Hey, my pleasure. My pleasure. And, uh, of course, tomorrow See, night. Dre, join Dre us just tomorrow. got up probably so early out there, and he's still dressed no, up. No, Joe, yeah. Joe, I'm on the East Coast. Oh, geez. Yeah, he's, he's, he's out east. 
he's not a, he's okay. not up for really, makes don't, let him, don't let him get away with that. Now he could have lied to us and just said he's up in California. <laughs> don't go to don't go to Paris Island. <laughs> well, I'll talk to you, but everybody uh, I feel Paul Murray's gonna be going live in a few, but check the fly for fun show out tomorrow night. We'll uh get the latest on all that uh, what's happening. Thanks everybody. Yeah. All right.